So you want to know how to extend cables or wires in a switch or a socket. There could be several reasons for that. Maybe they've been cut too short, maybe you've moved a socket or a switch, or the most common problem is when you come to change the front for a different manufacturer. So today on Fix It With Fowler, I'm gonna show you a few different methods to extend these cables, starting with the most traditional method. However, stick around till the end of the video because I've got a new method to extend these, which is really simple. So before you carry out any electrical work, you need to make sure that you're competent and confident to do so. If you've got any doubts, then please contact a qualified registered electrician prior to starting any work. And the other important thing is to make sure that the circuit is isolated before you start work. So the first method to extend these cables will be traditional connector blocks. Now these connector blocks come in different sizes and they're rated to suit the cable. So it's important that you pick the right connectors to suit these cables. Now, in this instance, I've got 16 amp connector blocks to suit this cable. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is get yourself an off cut of 2.5 twin and earth cable. Now there's a few methods you can use to strip this cable. You can use traditional side cutters and you can trim down the edge, pull the earth and that will strip the earth out. However, for a DIY, these are brilliant bits of kit and you can actually just get them, put them onto the twin and earth, press it and that allows you to pull that off and that gives you your off cuts of cable. So for this first method, we're going to use these connector blocks. We've got the off cuts of cable here. So if you get your strippers, put them in, take a bit off each end. And that will allow you then to put that into the connector block. Make sure that there's no copper showing. Tighten that up and give it a pull. And do that to each of these conductors. So now we've got these cables with the connector blocks on. We can now attach them onto the existing conductors within the box itself. So same thing again, just tighten them up. Don't over tighten them because that will compress the copper and potentially cause a high resistance joint or the cable could simply snap. So you do the same method for each of these and then you can push them into the box and cut these to the required length. Okay, so now we've extended these wires, we just need to trim them down so they're gonna fit into the box. Now, as a rule of thumb, if you go to the furthest point in the box, at about 20 mil, that should be more than ample to leave enough room in the back of the box. So we'll just grab them into one corner and cut them off. And now we just need to take off roughly about 15 mil off the end of each of these. And then a top tip for the earth conductor is to get your sleeve in, slide over the top, and then if you bend it, you can see where the copper ends. Now, if you keep your eye on that actual part of the sleeving, you can come back and when you slide the sleeving down, that will be the right measurement. So as you can see, if we put these conductors now into these holes, they're really too small. And what will happen is as you tighten them up, it will put a lot of pressure on the, on the copper and potentially crush it and snap it. So to avoid that, what we're going to do, we're going to double the ends of these over and that way it will give the screw something better to bite on. So that's the conductors all doubled over ready for us to install the socket. We can put them into the socket, dress these connector blocks towards the back of the box, and there's not a problem. 
However, there's a lot better method to do this. So as you've seen, that can be quite fiddly with the connector box. And there is a potential to actually damage these conductors if you over tighten them. So the next method will be to use something like these push fit connectors. Now, there's loads of manufacturers that make these and some are better than others. These Wago connectors actually have like a lever. So you push the conductor in, shut the lever and that holds it tight. If you want to get it back out, you just open the lever, pull it off and you can alter it as you please. So again, they're quite good. The only disadvantage is that again, they're quite bulky within the box. So the best method to extend these cables is these splice line connectors. Now these are ideal for this sort of job. They are pretty small. They don't take up much extra room in the box. They're rated up to 32 amps. So these are ideal for this job. So we're just going to do the same sort of thing. We're going to get some off cuts of cable, strip them ready, and I'll show you how to install them. Okay, so the same as before. If you just get your splice connector, these just push straight on. You can then get your off cut conductor to extend it. Push that in and that is as simple as it is. We just have to repeat that on the remaining conductors. So the final job is just to connect this socket up. As you can see the cables are doubled over. So obviously the brown goes into the live the neutral is the blue and the earth goes into the earth toner now all we need to do is push this socket back at this point we can just stress the cables into the box a little bit which will make it easier so as you've seen in the video you can use these connectors for joining cables or extending cables the only thing is they're a little bit outdated now a little bit tricky to use and they can cause damage to the conductors so nowadays i won't really use them i would suggest that if you're joining cables then something like these wago connectors are ideal or general push fit connectors or if you're going to extend cables in boxes these inline splice connectors are ideal now i've put a link to these connectors and to the tools used in this video below so you can head over and find where to get them now if you found this video useful then please don't forget give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment and the most important thing is to subscribe to my channel so thanks again see you soon